Coach Greenlee, the evening of the MAC championships, nine teams. Let's talk about the tournament. First off, the Bobcats, two All-Americans. What do you got to do to get to get two champs out of your two All-Americans, Coach? Well, I think right now it's all about attitude and effort. You know, you, you, everything's in the bank, and you come to the tournament and have confidence in the in the work you put in and what you've done all year long, and uh, you know, let it rip tomorrow and Sunday. Paul at 125, he's a guy that's a fringe guy. You know, he's had some ups and downs this season. Makes the NCAAs last year. What's he got to do to get back to Oklahoma City? Same thing, you know, he's a big game guy, you know. He, he, he loves to wrestle in the big competition. That's when he's at his best. And, uh, you know, just go out there, have confidence in what you've done and feel good about it. And, you know, we focus all year long on wrestling hard. We don't focus on winning and losing, so that's what you're going to do. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday, focus on wrestling hard. Wrestle as hard as you can, and, and good things will happen. Five weights with five bids, 141 being one of them. Forder, once again, he's a guy, I think he's like a 6 7 seed. He's right there. What's Noah Forder got to do? You know, a true freshman from Marysville. You kept him right in Ohio. What's he got to do? Who's he got to beat? What's, what's got to happen for him this weekend? Uh, you know, it's the same thing. I, we're not going to change anything. We've talked about it all year long is wrestling as hard as you can. I think the guy's gotten better and better as the years went on. I think uh, I know this. Uh, there, there'll be different results from from guys that he wrestled early in the year. And, uh, you know, go out and wrestle hard. Good things happen. That, you know, that, that's what we've, we've focused on all year, all week. Uh, you know, and we're not going to change anything. So I, I think the same thing. Go out and wrestle hard. I, I don't know that you're going to win your first match, second match, third match, whatever it is. But I know this. You, you wrestle hard and good things will happen for you. Taiwan being the number one seed at 149. I think a lot of people were surprised by that because the number one guy in the country is the number two seed. They kept that the same, right? Right. Were you surprised by that? And has, does that, you say he's a confident guy. Did that feed his confidence? I think that feeds his confidence a little. Unfortunately, <laughs> it feeds his confidence a little bit. I, yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's not my place to say whether he should be the first seed, second seed, third seed, whatever. Uh, you know, and I, I, it, it, uh, I think he was number one in the MAC rankings. And uh, uh, Missouri didn't say anything about it, and I think they felt like, hey, he beat him head to head, and he should be the number one seed. So that's it was what it was, and and I also think, you know, you're you're seeing the conference tournament here, you're not seeing the national tournament. Looking at uh, you know, 157 Sparty was one and two at the NCAA tournament. You know, he's got big moves, he's exciting to watch, acrobatic, just a fun guy to watch. Uh, what's he got to do to get to Oklahoma City? That weight's got five bids as well. What's Sparty got to do? Uh, you know, I think he needs to go out there and wrestle. He, we had, he had problems this year as far as being hurt a lot. And, uh, things like that didn't get to train the way he needed to do. But the last three, four weeks, he's been, um, you know, injury-free, knock on wood. And, uh, uh, you know, just the same thing. Go out, wrestle hard, wrestle his style. Uh, he, he's got to, you know, create action for him. If he gets a guy that stands around and does nothing, that's hard for him to wrestle. But if he goes out there and creates it, the action, good things will happen. I think Harry Hightower can win 165. That's just my opinion. But what's Harry got to do to be the champ here? And then obviously, you know, the bid takes care of itself. What's Harry got to do? Uh, for Harry Hightower, it's all confidence. You know, I, I think the guy's, I, I think the world of the guy, I think he's one of the best guys out there. Uh, I'm not sure Harry thinks that yet, but that's one thing we've worked on all year long is, is trying to be positive, have him think he's one of the best. And I think he's turned a corner in the last part of the year and wrestling really well. 74, 84, you know, 97. I think those are all weights, you know, 84, he's been in the NCAA tournament before. You know, 74, he's a returning All-American. Yeah. You know, like, what do those guys got to do to be where they need to be? You know, 74 is nails. Yeah, yeah, 74 is pretty, pretty tough weight. I, that might be the toughest weight in the tournament. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I think he can wrestle with anybody. Uh, uh, I think a tournament format uh, favors him a little bit more than a dual meet format. Uh, so, you know, you know, hey, one at a time. we got to win the first one, and then we, then we go from there. Uh, 84, yeah, I, I think for him, academically, was a, is a struggle for him. Uh, for us, we're on spring break. He's got nothing else to focus on but wrestling. So uh, it's not that he's a poor student. He's just in a very tough, tough major and has to spend a lot of time doing it. And I think it, that it, it makes it hard for him. So spring break is going to be in our favor a little bit there. 97, I think the guy's, a, I think he's a beast. He's a freak of nature. And, uh, you know, he just needs to continue to do what he does. I mean, he goes out there and wrestles hard, and, and, and he's quick, and he's long, and he's strong, and uh, do what he's done all year long. Are you pumped to see a potential rematch between Wellington and Jaden Cox? Because I know I am. Uh, 
you know, I'd be a little bit more pumped if he lost in the semis, I think. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Actually, I am. I, I mean, I think that was a great match for us in the, in the uh, duel. It, it was fun to watch. It was exciting. Phil went out there and wrestled his tail off. I think Cox wrestled his tail off. Uh, you know, we, I've seen Cox wrestle a couple times all year long, and, and that's the way he wrestles. That's the way Phil wrestles. And, and, and as a fan, that's what I want to see. I mean, to me, that's exciting when two guys that are fairly evenly matched, any way you look at it, I think they're fairly evenly matched. I know Jim doesn't think that, uh, that uh, 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 Wellington can win the national <laughs> tournament this year, but I do. Uh, you know, um, and I think they're fairly evenly matched, and that, that's great for a fan. You get two guys out there, the fur flies, and no matter who wins, that's exciting. Can anyone stay with Johnson in the Mid-American Conference? Everybody can stay with everybody. You know, that's what we sell all year long, and we, you better sell it to Johnson, too, because he can't take it lightly. You know, I think Mellon's, uh, you know, Mellon's probably taking him down more than anybody all year long. You better go out there and be ready to wrestle against him. I think uh, uh, Cabell from Northern Iowa's got a pretty good shot. He's a smaller heavyweight. Hey, you better be ready for that guy. Uh, 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 Torrance, you know, he's ranked in the top 30. All right, I don't know if he is now, but he has been at times. So uh, I think they can all hang with him. He better think they can hang with him, and he better go out there and, and, and wrestle his tail off every match he has. Are they drawing any power from the mustaches at 74 and out of weight? That's it. We were like Samson with the mustache. You see Coach Hanson. Coach Hanson's got the best mustache in the Mid-American Conference. I think Walter's got the best mustache in the Mid-American Conference. I think Walter looks like Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach. Uh, you know, 2001. You you were the head coach. You want you're the last team besides Central Michigan until Missouri last year to win the tournament title. What do you guys got to do as a team to win the tournament title here at the MAC? You got to make every match count. You have to get bonus points when you can get bonus points. As far as majors, Tech falls, falls. You, you know, if I, you know, we're, I'd love to have ten guys win the win the. The, the tournament, but I don't think that's necessarily realistic for anybody to think that. So uh, when a guy loses, he needs to come back and, and win a match. You, 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 you know, you can't sulk, you can't feel sorry for yourself, you can't worry about any of that stuff, and, and uh, you, you come back, wrestle your tail off, and, and be good to go. All right, Coach, good luck tomorrow. Thanks, appreciate it.